shattering point. My... my body! Steel shred and clench! <laughs> saving your life out there. I'm not carrying your ass through this fight, understand? Sure. <laughs> I'm gonna make you scrawny punks bleed! Hey you! Don't get in my way! Or you're going to hell with them! The hell you say, punk? Same goes for you! Oh, almost forgot. If teammates attack each other, you're both disqualified. And you can't kill your partner. Yeah. Now it's showtime! The next fight begins now! Yeah. <laughs> 
I know those moves. That's Hokuto Shinken, right? People don't die like that from any old martial art. I heard about it from the piece of shit who taught me. And now, I get to see the lethal arts of Hokuto Shinken with my own eyes. Never thought I'd see the day. You know, I killed a lot of people to get here. And now I know it was all worth it. Finally, I get a real fight. I heard rumors that Eden's Coliseum had some insane fighter nobody could beat. Guess that's you, huh? What are your fists meant for? What is their purpose? Ha! <laughs> You've mastered lethal arts and you're asking me that? There for killing. Isn't it obvious? Pathetic. What? Don't tell me you got a problem with that. Like you mastered lethal martial arts for isometric exercise? And if you win this tournament, what will you ask for? Well, guess I'll ask for a license to kill. Seems fair to me. Since I'm risking my own life here. I will never understand people like you. It's you I don't get. You think you're some kind of hero? I'm done talking. Show me Hokuto Shinken! And now it's down to two. One on one. Martial artist against martial artist. A real duel, folks. Fight! Hundred 
Mist Rush! Guy's gonna tear him apart. Nobody walks away from that monster. You hear me, Kenshiro? It doesn't matter how many rounds you win, you're just more. Whoa! <laughs> 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 
Never thought you'd actually beat Devil Rebirth, Hotshot. You really do have something special. So can I meet the ruler of the city? Relax. She'll be here in a second. God's sake, this crowd's gonna make me go deaf. Weirdest thing. Could have sworn everyone else was betting on the giant. It appears as though I'm the sole winner. Looks like you're the only one who bet on him. All I can say is, you're paying for drinks tonight. <laughs> we'll see.
we meet again, Kenshiro? You're that girl. I am the Holy Maiden, the one who presides over Eden. My name is Kisama. You're the ruler of Eden? I offer my congratulations. As the champion, you have earned the right to ask a favor of me. That is the stated code of the Gladiator Games. And thusly, one question remains. What can Eden grant a man of such power? I need to search your city for a woman who is named Yuria. That is all I ask. Very well. I hereby grant you freedom to move about the city as you please. Whoa, what? Kisana, are you serious? You were watching, right? You saw him turn those guys into chunks, right? Jagre, Kenshiro is the champion. And the ruler must grant the champion's wish. That has long been the code of the games. But, but... That's... Am I clear, Jagre? Thank you. Kenshiro, from this day forth, you are a citizen of Eden. I pray that you find what you're looking for here. You listen here, punk. Maybe you've got Kisana's blessing, but I don't trust you. You're on thin fucking ice! Don't you think you can get away with whatever shit you want? I got eyes everywhere, and I'll be watching! Got that? You try anything funny, you even breathe wrong, and I'll kill you on the spot! Aha! Uh -huh. Jagre. Perhaps you could give Kenshiro a tour of the city. What? Wait a sec! Why the hell do I gotta do that? God damn it! Why the hell am I stuck playing babysitter? Can't believe this shit! It's Kenshiro, right? I guess orders are orders. Let's get this over with. I'll show you around Eden. Any specific questions before we get moving? Tell me more about Eden. Fine. Guess you're wondering why it's called that. Well, I don't know who said it first. After a while, Eden was just what everyone called it. Like the garden. So people see this place as some kind of paradise. Well, I don't know about paradise, but we got resources to spare, thanks to Sphere City right nearby. Sphere City? See that hole in the mountain next to here? You're looking at Sphere City. That set of buildings inside the dome? Yeah. It's some facility from back before the war, I guess. I don't know the details. But the thing still works. We get a lot of water out of those pipes. Still generates electricity, too. Some kind of energy plant from the old world? That's my best guess, too. But there's laws against prying too deep into Sphere City and how it works. 
And obviously, the place is off limits. It seems like it's under a lot of security. Better just let the thing keep doing its job. Long as it keeps us alive, the Watch will protect it. So that's where this city's prosperity comes from. You get all your resources from that thing. That's right. And Kisana's the one in charge. So you're the captain of the City Watch. Got that right. That's how the people around here know me. Captain Jagray, top dog of the Watch. Why did you come to this city? My folks needed food and water. Pretty simple. Your family's here then? Not anymore. Ma and my old man are long gone. I'm the only one left. I see. I joined the City Watch about three years ago. I protected the peace and worked out like crazy. And that got me all the way to the Captain of the Watch. Hmm. Was it easier to get in the city back then? You said your whole family got in. Yeah. Back then it didn't even have a gate. No watch either. More of a settlement than a city. But then Lord Nadai set up laws and formed the watch to enforce them. Then came the walls and gate. That was the real beginning of Eden, I guess. And after that, the city restricted entry from outsiders? You probably heard, but anyone can enter as long as they got some special permit from Kisana. But we got too many people looking to get a piece. It was either restrict entry or run out of resources. Tell me more about that Kisana woman. Who exactly is she? Hey! Watch your fucking mouth! Kisana's the ruler of Eden! She's the Holy Maiden! Show some goddamn respect! It's Lady Kisana to you! But not to you. You just call her by her name. Are you two... together? What? No! We just go way back. I knew her and Lord Nadai from when they first started building this place up. Nadai? Kisana's dad. After the nukes, he was the one who discovered Sphere City. He's the founder of Eden. So it all began with him. He was powerful, smart, kind to everyone. A stand-up guy, and a great ruler. But three years ago, he just died out of nowhere. So Kisana had to take over. Ever since then, she's been the ruler of Eden. I see. Lord Nadai made our walls, started the town watch, gave us everything we needed to keep the evil out. Evil? Yeah, like the inmates he fought in the games, or those thugs that raid villages on the outside. A couple years ago, this pack called the Army of Ruin showed up. Been raiding us ever since. But we could take them. Who gives a shit about some two-bit army of bandits? <laughs> Do you know anything of- Here it comes! I'll gun you down! <laughs> Here! Ha! Try and dodge this! Hmm. Now die!
Looks like you were the unlucky one. You picked a fight with me. How did you? You thought that you were an ace, but you're just another joker. Take him to the medical clinic. Got it. Stay with us, Jagray. <laughs> Dr. Ihaku, what's wrong with him? I've never seen symptoms like these before. He doesn't seem to have sustained any physical injuries. No damage to his internal organs. What in the world? This is probably because of Kyo-O's technique. Technique? You mean the martial arts he used? None of his strikes showed any visible signs of harm. It's very similar to Hokuto Shinken. But there's no evidence of a struck pressure point. This style must be different. Then what's causing Jagray to be like this? It's likely his mind's been affected. Kyo-O's technique must severely damage one's psyche. At this rate, his psyche will soon fall apart, and he'll go completely mad. Can you help him? I'm afraid this is beyond me. That can't be! All we can do is sit here and watch as Jagray slowly loses his mind? Is there nothing we can do? Perhaps that martial artist could help him. A martial artist? Yes. Rumor tells of a martial arts master who can heal any wound. He's said to cure his patients with one touch. 
I heard he once rid an entire community of its disease. They now call it the Village of Miracles. That man's name is Toki. What? Toki? Toki's alive? You know him? Toki was a fellow disciple, and was very much like a brother to me. We all thought he'd be the successor of Hokuto Shinken. The accuracy of his techniques. His rhythm, his speed, his mental and physical prowess. He was truly unmatched. During the war, Toki was heavily exposed to ashes of death. Nuclear fallout. He sacrificed himself to prevent Yuri and me from being exposed to it. He survived, but was left with an incurable sickness. He gave up his pursuit of becoming successor soon after. The reason I survived. The reason I inherited the title of successor. It's all because of him. I had no idea. Last time I saw him, he said he would use what life he had left to save as many lives as possible. It sounds like he may be able to cure Jagray. Unfortunately, I've also heard he's currently a prisoner. What? Why has he been imprisoned? I'm not sure. Judging from the rumors, I'd assume he was captured while treating the sick. Then all I need to know is where he is. Then I'll go set him free. It won't be that easy, I'm afraid. What do you mean? Toki is being held captive at the infamous Cassandra. Cassandra? No. What's that? The prison of death. No one who goes in comes out alive. And Cassandra's warden is the mighty Uyghur. If we want to rescue Toki, we'll have to get through him. <laughs> I'll take Jagre to Toki, then. What? You mean... you're willing to go to Cassandra for Jagre? Yeah. Very well. I entrust this duty to you, Kenshiro. As ruler of this city, I cannot leave it behind. I understand. But please, save Jagre. And upon your safe return, I promise to tell you the truth I could not share before. The truth? About Yuria. Then you do know something about her? I'll tell you her whereabouts, and everything else I know. If you can save Jagre, then I will put my trust in you. Do we have a deal? Allow me to accompany you. I may not be much help. But I can at least look after Jagre on the way. I appreciate it. In any case, you'll need a car. It's rather far, and you couldn't possibly carry Jagre all the way there. Unfortunately, all of our cars were destroyed in the Army of Ruins attack. We'll need to repair one first. All right. I'll help in any way I can. Ken! Bad? <laughs> I knew it was you! I've been looking for you! What are you doing here? A lot happened after we split up back in Southern Cross. I mean, my car breaks down, I get caught by slavers, and almost get sold, then the Army of Ruin kills them? The Army of Ruin? Uh-huh. They almost killed me, too. But I managed to give them the slip. It was a pretty close call. Then I secretly followed them here. The gate was blown to pieces, so I was able to sneak right in. I was surprised to hear your name come up when I was scoping the place out. That's so. So what are you doing here, Ken? 
Come on, Ken. You can't keep quiet forever. I'll do whatever I can to help out. Why do you want to help me? Good things happen when you're around. <laughs> Besides, I think I'm a little better at negotiating than you. If you're gonna live here, I can help out. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. Just like the good old days. Hmm. So Yuria might be somewhere in town? And you're looking to fix a car to save the captain of the guard? <laughs> Looks like it's my time to shine. Leave it to me. Bad. What are you up to? I'm gonna make you a car. In this city, building a car's a heck of a lot easier than fixing one. You can make one? <laughs> yeah, I learned loads about it. Should be pretty easy. Also, if... You're probably right. Well then, let's... <laughs> hmm? No. <sighs> Got it. Yeah. Hmm. Say what? Hmm. Hmm? <sighs> Got it. Nay. Whoa! 